working with the toolbar we have open which is equivalent to file open we have save which is equivalent to file save and then we have editing commands for the um, memory of uh, or the uh, think of the editor as basically an equivalent memory space as the liquid foot itself so uh, as we scroll up as I'm doing right now I'm not connected uh, in sync with the liquid foot so this is actually grabbing everything out of the memory stuck in the editor right now so if there's a red box around the save command and I press save then what I've just done is taken whatever changes I might have made for this in this case the preset screen and put it back into the memory for location one so if I go to location 10 which I can do by typing it in or scrolling up and down uh, I can make a change and um, hit save and it's now saved it in memory location 10 so that's save uh, new if I want to wipe out the uh, uh, current in this case preset again the, uh, this is save new copy paste each of these four buttons works depending on which uh, area of the liquid foot you're um, currently uh, working in. So if I'm on presets and I hit new, I've now cleared out preset number 10 and it's empty. A anytime you uh, clear something out, it makes a copy. So if I just paste back what I had in there before, it comes right back. And now at this point, I have to save it uh, because this data is not stored in this memory anymore because I had cleared it. So I'll go ahead and save it again. So now if I go up, down, you can see it's saved. Okay, um, so I'll grab a copy and I'll move it and here I can paste and you'll see it just pasted it. So I'm not going to save it so when I go back it brings back what I had in there before. Okay, save, new, copy, paste and if you wait a little bit you'll see the uh, the tooltips uh, pop up as you hover over the buttons not connected means that uh, we are working only with the memory uh, there are times when you're just going to want to program uh, various options and then save them into uh, sysx dumps for later and you can go ahead and do that if you actually want to work with the liquid foot live then you click the button, assuming you have your MIDI cables plugged in, and it'll go green if it makes a uh, connection. Now at this point, every time you scroll, in this case I'm on presets again, but it'll happen for all your uh, areas. Um, as you're scrolling through your presets, preset 20 just came off of the liquid foot, so this is actually what's in memory of the liquid foot. You'll notice it scrolls just a tad slower because it's getting the uh, MIDI information off of the uh, liquid foot. Okay, uh, the, I'll explain this in a separate section because it gets complicated. But essentially, uh, syncing, automatic, any changes I make here, when I hit save, it saves it to the memory of the editor, but it also, because I'm connected, will automatically save it uh, directly into the liquid foot. So you don't have to do a dump at some later time. So this is live. Any changes you make here go live into the liquid foot as soon as you hit save. So I'll disconnect. Now, if you're disconnected, and uh, let's go change a couple parameters here. Uh, we're disconnected, but uh, in this case, uh, what you have the ability to just take a single item from the liquid foot, depending on what screen you're on. So in this case, I'm on preset number 27. So if I say get single item, then what it what you notice it just put it back. Um, what it does is it grabs item number uh, 27 in this case preset 27 and takes all that memory and then overwrites whatever is in the editor's memory so you can work have the convenience of working out of sync make your changes uh, if you make mistakes or for whatever reason you need to uh, um, uh, grab something from memory you can go ahead and do that uh, just by clicking this button so that 